Salut tout le monde! If you've ever wanted to learn French, I'm going to show you how you can do it in one of the most fun and enjoyable experiences you may have ever had with learning a language. Je m'appelle Luc, and this is Polymathy. And that is with French in Action, a totally free video series of 52 half-hour videos. That's one for every week of the year. That's right, if you just watch one of these videos a week, then in a year you will know a lot of French. French in Action was made by Dr. Pierre Capretz in 1986. And, oh, this wonderful video series, it definitely looks and feels like 1986. It is vintage. Bonjour, Madame Rosa. Bonjour, Mademoiselle Mireille. Ça va? Ça va. Au revoir. Au revoir, Mademoiselle. Vous voyez? Elle parle français. It is beautiful. It is entertaining and cute. And best of all, it uses outstanding, comprehensible input techniques. By the 80s, it was understood that languages really need to be learned through this kind of input method, where you get a lot of visual and auditory information and a little bit of text, sometimes a good amount of text, but especially that comprehensible visual and auditory information, because that is what languages are. They are sound and experiences that happen in real life. So the wonderful French in Action series gives you that. And we get to follow these wonderful and adorable characters, uh, Mireille, a French young woman, and Robert, an American man who speaks excellent French. And, uh, and they end up meeting, and we follow their little romance through this lovely series of 52 episodes. And on the way, we learn all the basics of grammar and vocabulary. This is exactly how I first learned French, and it was just such an enjoyable experience. I cannot recommend it highly enough. And the best part of it is this is completely free. Let's look at the website for French in Action, and it looks like this. And what you're going to want to do is go to video two. Video one, which is orientation, explains the method. Back in that day, in the 80s, it was still not terribly common, perhaps, to have such an immersive experience. So this orientation is in English and explains to you how uh, the program is supposed to work. But uh, really, it's not necessary. You can skip right to video two, planning and anticipating one. That's really the beginning, and that's where our story starts. Watching these videos in college, which I just did for my own edification, was one of the most enjoyable experiences I've ever had in learning a language. Definitely the top five for sure, because it's just so well done. And by the end of the 52 videos, I felt like I had a real basic mastery of the language that I could understand people speaking, I could converse with people, I could read the language. It was so exciting. And you can have that too. Like I said, it's free. You can find a lot of the videos also on YouTube. Um, but uh, they're all here too, right on the website, the proper website for French in Action. French in Action and Aleph with Beth were my two primary inspirations for the comprehensible video series I'm doing on my other channel, Scorpio Martianus, uh, Lingua Latina Comprensibilis, that teaches Latin, very similar to this French in Action method, and Ancient Greek in Action. I wonder where I got the idea for that title, which teaches ancient Greek entirely through comprehensible input methods. In fact, I get a lot of inspiration for these two series from a lot of different places that you might recognize. But uh, really, at the core of it was French in action, because this is the first time I'd ever seen a video series that was like this. It's so complete. You know, it goes from nothing, from no French at all. If you listen and pay attention, you can understand French really well after these 52 episodes. And so when Aleph with Beth came around last year, it was amazing. It was like, oh my gosh, look at this biblical Hebrew series. This is a lot like French in action. And of course, modified for the wonderful medium that we have in YouTube, where we can have any length of video we want. It doesn't have to be exactly a half hour or less or something. It can be longer. So of course, as you probably well know, I took a huge amount of inspiration from the wonderful Aleph with Beth series, which you should subscribe to. Their channel is absolutely amazing. And of course, this wonderful French in action series. So you want to learn French and you don't have a lot of time or you're not sure how much commitment to put in, this is such a great way because it gives you this passive experience. There is some active participation you can do during the video. Sometimes you can repeat certain phrases. But if you want to learn French, I would say do this. Take a half hour a day and do it the same time every day if you possibly can and just watch one of these videos. Do that for 52 days and see what happens. Mireille, tiens Colette. Bonjour. See how much you understand. Uh, fluent at speaking without any additional study? Probably not, but you'll be able to understand 
quite a bit. You'll be surprised and you'll be really pleasantly surprised. The methodology is extremely sound. And then you can apply those experiences to actually visiting a French-speaking country or interacting with French-speaking people and even writing and reading and starting to move into higher levels of mastery of the language. But to start, there's just nothing better than this series. Having learned French this way and having been able through many years to be able to converse with native French speakers has been just an absolute joy. It opens up this whole world. I mean, the English language is so strongly influenced by French. I'd say of you know, the top languages that have influenced English the most, French and Latin are those two languages. So even for people who learn English as a second language and you want to understand a little bit more about what English is doing and the source of a lot of its vocabulary, well, French is a really, really great way to understand that. French and Latin will show a lot of the really profound influences on English. Pierre Capret sadly passed away in 2015, but uh, some years before that, I decided just to write him an email because I had had, you know, just the pleasure of being able to communicate with francophones for years. So I just wanted to write him an email and say merci for everything he did, and uh, he replied back. So um, I'm glad I got to give him that little thank you. Of course, he's received, you know, hundreds of thousands, I'm sure, since uh, the late 1980s when he first published this series. But um, it was really nice and it meant a lot to me. And it was a huge inspiration for me to want to do that with the languages that, uh, that I know and that I love to teach, like Latin and ancient Greek, which, as I said, I do over on Scorpio Martianus. Nous allons apprendre le français. Nous allons apprendre le français. It's the, some of the first words in French I ever got to learn and hear, and the lovely sound of Dr. Capretz's voice. Bonjour. Moi, je suis le professeur. Et vous, vous, vous êtes les étudiants. Just, it echoes. I always remember it. I always know that, that sound. Nous allons apprendre le français. Nous allons apprendre le français. And I've always remembered it. And I've imitated that, as you know, in my Lingua Latina Comprensibili series. Salvete. Ego magister sum. Et vos discipuli estis. Et nos linguam latinam discimus. Sic, lingua latina, discimus. Oui, le français. Vous savez, le français. Really a loving homage to this amazing gift that we all can enjoy. Uh, really, I mean, if people are able to watch and listen to a TV show, you can learn a huge amount of French. You can get the basics. Uh, it's just shocking and so pleasant when you realize that, wow, I actually understand a lot of what's going on. In the early part of the 20th century and a little bit before uh, 19th century as well, we see a lot of grammar translation methods being the norm for learning any language, whether it's an ancient language or a modern language. And while, of course, this series teaches grammar, and it does it very well, um, it teaches it within the context of the language. And those of us who utilize comprehensible input methods we understand that is how languages simply are acquired. They're, we can acquire grammar, we can discuss grammar, we can do all of that, especially as adult learners, because we're capable of handling abstract information like you know, grammatical conjugations or whatever. Uh, we can deal with that, but it's so much better if we can learn it within the context of the language. We can always teach in the vernacular language too, but if we teach in the target language, as French in Action does, as Aleph with Beth does, as uh, I've been doing with Lingua Latina Comprensibilis and Ancient Greek in Action, then we get to internalize everything we need to know without needing to worry about translating into English or some other language. I cannot gush enough about how much I love this cute, silly little story, the adorable characters, they're simply but pleasantly drawn, well acted, especially given that, you know, you have a limited amount of vocabulary that the characters are allowed to use and certain expressions that they have to use. Nevertheless, this rather simple, clear, pleasant, interesting, engaging story carries us from beginning basics, knowing nothing, into a wonderful, rather high competency level, given it's just, you know, 52 half-hour episodes. It's just 26 hours of time. Oh my gosh, you could watch them back to back in just a, a little over a day. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Uh, I'd say definitely watch if you want to do something on the slightly more intense side. Just see if you can do, watch one a day for 52 days straight or keep it under two months. And if you can do that, keeping it under two months, then you can actually see how far you get. Watching them again and again is great. Rewatching episodes 
and uh, eventually you will you will get there. And then you can move on to other great tools to learn French. Merci beaucoup. À la prochaine fois. Au revoir. Once you've started watching some of the episodes of French in Action, please leave a comment here. Let me know how you like it, and especially if you start to feel that you're gaining some progress in the language. Thanks so much to my Patreon supporters whose names you see here on the screen. Thanks to them, I'm able to make these videos. Merci.